Hello everyone, today I'll be opening some of the Scarlet and Violet sleeve packs. There's two normal Scarlet and Violet ones, and then one Paldea Evolved one. Um, I was at a uh, drugstore recently, and they had, I was looking for a gift card, and they also happened to have some Pokemon packs, so I bought all the ones they had. They always get some in every couple weeks, and it's like one of the few places that I can go to that doesn't have uh, Pokemon cards behind the counter. I can just take them on the off the shelf, and I guess that's sort of nice to do. Um, so yeah, I'll open these up, should be pretty quick. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I'm interested to see if I can get anything. I haven't got a whole lot from the normal Scarlet and Violet sets. Uh, really, two or three art rares, I think, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't opened a ton of this Powdea Evolve set, so. Uh, maybe one or two sleeve packs. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to open these up and I'll just flip the camera and see what I can get. All right, so uh, I've got a sleeves here. I'll just end with the Paldea Evolved one, Gyarados, these starters, and then Quaxley's um, uh, full evolution. Um, yeah, um, I, th I think I've opened up a decent amount of Scarlet and Violet just from when it first came out. I bought a six-pack um, booster bundle and then with um, some sleeve packs along with that. Um, I opened up Crown Zenith yesterday, so I need to make sure I don't start flipping a bunch of cards over. Um, a Grass Energy. A Dole Live. Quaxley there. There's Quaxley. Uh, Pawnee Yard looking pretty cool. Uh, crushing Hammer. Scovillian. I think there's actually something back there. Breloom. Uh, Torical. Lucario Reverse Hollow. That's pretty cool. Maybe there isn't anything. It's just the normal holographic pattern. I think that's what it is. Um, Electric Generator and Professor's Research. I found it just with the silver borders. I on these sets, I feel like I'm always getting confused thinking there might be something back there and it's just the holographic. It's just how shiny it is. Why is this Gyarados pack so sticky? Um, Trastalized Gyarados. Um, here. Um, I think it's been, these Scarlet and Violet sets have been pretty good. They have some really nice cards in them. Um, of course, it's just a normal set, so I don't really expect all that much pull rate wise, but um, we'll see what if I can get anything here. Fire Energy. Uh, Sandile. Mareep. Uh, Silly Cobra. Bisharp. Uh, Floatzel. A team, a team Star Grunts. Or, why is it just Grunt? There's multiple of them. Lucario. It's the same case seeing that shiny thing in the back. Uh, Caps Kid there. Tandem Mouse, and then a holographic here for Rev of Room, who is completely destroyed up in the <laughs> top of the card. Uh, Paldea Evolved is next. Um, I think I've opened a few sleeve packs for this uh, set, not too much. At some point, I'd like to go back and get some of the Elite Trainer boxes for these sets, mainly for those promotional cards, um, and just open up a bit more of the set. Uh, I think for me, in most cases, I like to open up a little bit of the set and then um, just a little bit of the set and then buy any cards that I really like. Um, the Sloth Fella, Watchroll, Foy Coco looking cool. I like Foy Coco. Why is there a t Tumbleweed as a Pokemon? Uh, that uh, guy, Toxicroak. Uh, Fletchinder, there actually might be something back there this time. Nimble, Litleo, I think it's just holographic probably, but we'll see. Litleo, and then a uh, Squa Squawka, what is that, Squawkabilly? Squawkabilly EX, that's an interesting looking one. Um, yeah, cool, um, that's pretty much it for this video, a Squawkabilly, that's an interesting fella. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I feel like I've gotten a decent amount of EXs, or at least one or two from each of these sets, um, to start, uh, Scarlet and Violet, which has overall, I think, been a good start to it. I've really liked 
the 151 set. That's been a pretty fun one. Um, I don't, th there has, there are some really nice art rares in these sets, and that's sort of the highlight of them for me. The, uh, cards themselves, oh, honestly, the artwork on some of the basic cards are actually quite nice. Uh, but it's really the art rares that shine, just like it was the end of Sword and Shield, where the, um, where the trainer galleries really shined in those sets. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.